Yo guys, welcome back to another episode of Monger Review. Today, we're it's episode 43, I believe. And today, we're going to be reading and reviewing Naruto Volume 69. Right here, Volume 69. Uh, as you can see on here, uh, we got Guy Sensei. For some reason, he has a mustache and a beard now. I don't remember have him having that, but who knows. And then we have Guy, or not Guy, sorry, Rock Lee. And, uh, yeah, and on the back here, or not on the back, but on the front, you know, we just got Naruto. On the back here, this is really crazy. It's like some robot samurai stuff, I guess. I'm not exactly sure. Kind of reminds me, my first thought when I saw that was, kind of reminded me of Alita Battle Angel uh, at first. But... Yeah, that's just what I thought of when I saw it, but, yeah, pretty cool, and, um, yeah, so that's volume 69 there, and then volume 70, we got the lineage of Uchiha, the lineage of Senju, and then Hagoromo, and Kagura, uh, Kaguya, Osuski in the background, on the back here, we got, uh, Sasuke and Naruto with Hagoromo right there. So, the Sage of Six Paths. And, uh, yeah, this is the second to last Naruto review. The next one, which should come out probably tomorrow, or if I'm feeling like it, maybe later today, but probably tomorrow. And we'll be finishing up Naruto, which is just crazy to me. Um, but yeah, in volume 69 here, I'm gonna get right into this. Alright guys, so I'm going to be honest with you, I'm already almost finished with this volume, and I did not give any updates, so I figured, I almost went on and read the entire volume without giving any updates, but I figured I should step in now. Uh, so yeah, everything that's just happened, uh, we've had Sasuke fighting Madara, which, that wasn't really a fight, Sasuke is getting clapped right now, uh, so Madara... Uh, froze him in midair somehow and then stabbed him in the chest so now uh kareen uh sense that sasuke is dying um so sasuke is dying also naruto uh, got the nine tails uh taken out of him so uh, madara absorbed it and so naruto since you know what happens with jin Churiki, naruto is also dying uh eight tails you know killer b is dead now i think or I mean, he got eight tails sucked out of him, so I'm pretty sure Killer B is dead now. And uh, Madara managed to achieve the six paths uh, mode, the Sage of Six Paths. So, yeah, in one of his eyes, so uh, Madara is like the only person other than the Sage of Six Paths to ever unlock the, uh, what's it called? Rinnegan, because Nagato's Rinnegan was actually just Madara's Rinnegan, and he didn't even know it somehow. So, Madara reclaimed, I think Zetsu had one of them, and then uh, Madara had another, or Obito had one of them from Nagato, and the other one was taken by White Zetsu. So, White Zetsu gave Madara the Rinnegan that he had, and then now uh, Black Zetsu has absorbed uh, Obito and is trying to get him to uh, give him the Rinnegan that he has so if Madara gets both Rinnegans this is just going to be he's pretty much going to be unstoppable but they may, he doesn't have both Rinnegans he only has one Rinnegan at the moment so yeah and then uh, so Naruto he's dying now and so Sakura literally uh, like used her hand and like stabbed him right in the chest or something and she has her hand and she's manually pumping his heart from the inside and what they're having to do is go to the fourth hokage find him and the fourth he has uh half of nine tails sealed inside of him too so they're gonna do a transplant and put that half of nine tails inside naruto so that he doesn't die and obviously then I don't know if, uh, what's his name? I don't know if Minato would die because of that, because he's an Ido Tensei. So even if he were to die, I think he would still be alive, but he wouldn't be able to use the, um, he might not be able to use, uh, the, yeah, he wouldn't be able to use Biju mode. Or, uh, 
unless they have to seal him in by using the reaper death seal again then he would go back and he would die but if they find out another way to seal seal the nine tails in then i don't know what's going to become of minato if they do this transplant thing we'll just see what becomes of that but also now uh rock lee and guy sensei they have their hands on the uh sages ninja tools the sealing tools uh, that we saw be used by Darui on the Sil Gold and Silver Brothers. Uh, so, like, the, the giant jar or gourd thing and, like, the... What was the other thing? I think it was, like, a fan or something like that. And, uh, yeah, so they have their hands on those. I'm guessing they're probably going to try and seal Madara in. Uh, but, yeah, Madara's got six paths now, which is... Yeah, it's getting rough, but... That's sort of what's happening at the moment. Gara is also, um, he isn't a Jinchuriki anymore, but he was fighting alongside the One Tails. One Tails got absorbed, so since he's not a Jinchuriki, you know, he didn't die from it. But he's transporting Sakura and Naruto to Minato at the moment. And, uh, yeah, it looks like Kashi and Minato were fighting Obito, who has been, con is being controlled by Black Zetsu. So yeah, that's everything that's happening at the moment. I'm, to be honest, I'm probably going to end up finishing up this volume. And, uh, I'll probably, you know, get back to you guys when I do that. So, yeah, I'll see you guys in just a minute. Volume 69 ends with Guy Sensei actually fighting Madara. Now... He tried to use his inner gates thing at first, and it didn't work just because Madara is too strong. But now, uh, what's his name? Guy is using the forbidden technique. Uh, well, I guess eight gates is forbidden, but like the uh, the one that he was told not to do by his father, which also turns out that's not Guy. That's his act actually his dad. So we got Rock Lee, Guy, and then uh, Die. That's his name. Uh, so Guy sends his dad is die so yeah uh anyway guy he was told not to use the last gate which is the gate of death and that's the most powerful one and so his vapor that comes off of him from the sweat was blue when he uses the hirudera uh but now it's red because it's it's called the blood vapor and now yeah he's pulling out all the stops fighting madara and the downside to using the eighth gate of death is like obviously you know once you use it you will die so guy he's probably gonna bite the dust after here after this but yeah hopefully he's able to deal some decent damage to madara because guy sensei you know the only people who can really stand a chance against madara right now are guy because uh, the only things that affect madara now that he has the six paths uh, mode are taijutsu and senjutsu and so guy being a master at taijutsu and then uh there's what is his name minato who's able to use senjutsu but not very well and at the moment he doesn't have either of his arms so really the only person who can stand a chance at the moment is guy here so yeah hopefully we see more of that fight here in the next volume which i'm actually going to start reading here and uh yeah really cool looking volume though i like how it has the the lineage there yeah pretty sweet so i'm gonna get started reading this and yeah like i always do i'll give you guys some updates i just got to chapter 672 and number two almost being dead oh, let me fix the light almost being dead he had like this weird dream vision where he met with Hagoromo who's the sage of six paths and basically what he did was tell him about how his two sons uh Ashura and Indra are um like they were how their conflicts have uh carried on over time and how their reincarnates are Naruto and Sasuke so Indra uh, who became the who's like the first uchiha pretty much uh, well his lineage created the uchiha and ashura who created the senju and uh, so hashirama is ashura's reincarnate madara's indra's and then 
Naruto and Sasuke also, which is where we get this cover from right there. So, yeah. So he tells him that and tells or tells Naruto or asks Naruto what exactly he's going to do and how Naruto's like he's going to like change everybody or not change everybody, but defeat Madara to make sure that Kaguya, his mom, uh, doesn't rise. So, Haruomo, his mother, uh, who is Kaguya Sutsuki, was sealed away, and her power, she's going to try and put use infinite Tsukiyomi or whatever. So, yeah. They can't let her rise, and or, like, the, the tree will start absorbing, the divine tree will start absorbing everybody's chakra and stuff, and put everybody in a Genjutsu and kill everyone pretty much i think that that's kind of what i got from that so they have to stop her from rising meaning they have to stop madara and uh yeah so what ends up happening though is he gives naruto some of his power as well as sasuke so that they can team up and have more power i guess against madara but what's interesting though is uh hagoromo he has technically i guess both uchiha and senju blood since his sons are both uchiha and senju and uh so if he gives uh i guess maybe if he gives naruto and Sas sasuke both like chakra i wonder if that means like or if he's giving them their power i wonder if that means that they can both use the renegon possibly i'm not sure but that would be kind of interesting and uh yeah, that's sort of what's happening. Madara is still fighting Guy, and they're both pretty beat up. So, at least Guy is getting some decent damage in on Madara. But it looks like Naruto is going to have to step in here soon, whenever he awakes from this, like, dream vision thing. And Sasuke as well, because last time we saw him, I think Kabuto was healing him. So they should both be awakening here soon to come together and fight Madara now. Uh, so yeah, I'm going to continue reading and uh, yeah. One thing I did forget to mention uh, that I want to step in here and tell you guys before I can do continue reading is that Obito had extracted a little bit of each Biju's power from Madara and put it back inside of Naruto. So Naruto has a bit of every Biju inside of him. Which, to me, that means I think we're going to see Naruto um, with the six paths, probably. Which is going to be really cool. And, yeah, I think that might be Naruto on the front here. He has the six paths, I believe, because he has that thing and the thing in the middle there. So, I think that sort of signifies that he has six paths in that picture. We should be seeing that probably here soon. Okay, guys, so a lot of interesting and really cool stuff just happened. Uh, chapter, we just made it to chapter 674. And, yeah, we got the fight between Madara and Guy. So, Guy ended up using a final attack uh, to take him down, take down Madara. And I don't know exactly what it's called, but he does this thing here. Where it's like, he uses the rest of his final power and he's it's called like night guy so like his entire body i guess just turns black and he has like red lines on him and stuff i don't know if it's like dark red or if it's black it's hard to tell what it actually is because it's you know colored in but it's called night guy so i'm assuming it's like black but uh yeah his whole attack madara thinks that uh it's actually bending time when he uses it and uh or no not bending time sorry uh, he's bending space as he uses it it's just that powerful and uh yeah he beats the crap out of madara in like one final strike and yeah madara goes down but then of course you know he heals himself because he's madara but guy you know is about to die then naruto steps in and he heals i guess he heals, um, what's his name, Guy Sensei, and so he's not actually going to die from the eight gates now, uh, but his legs are completely destroyed after using that final kick that he did, so yeah, but now 
since he has all the bijou in him, he's able to use lava style from Sun Goku, and he used like a lava style Rasen Shuriken pretty much and like destroyed the tree. But now Madara, well no, Madara had been destroyed or he was about to die, but then he just decided to absorb the rest of the tree. So yeah, he absorbed the tree, regained power, and then, but now he, uh, Naruto and Sasuke, or Toby Rama, the second Hokage, teleport Sasuke using the flying Raijin. Now Sasuke and Naruto are together, and they're gonna fight Madara, who's been just been healed. But now, Naruto has six paths Sage mode, and Sasuke has since he only got half of the power from Hagoromo, he now has the one-eyed Rinnegan. So yeah, Sasuke has Rinnegan, and Naruto has six path sage mode which is pretty epic and we do get this really cool page which i'm going to show you guys here quite nice just them two standing there and then here i guess i'll go over one and then you can you can see that there so yeah they're coming together and they're gonna i guess this is like they're gonna fight and probably beat Madara once and for all here. And uh, this is about to be a really dope fight. Because this is peak Naruto power. Six paths sage mode. And then now Sasuke's got the Rinnegan. I mean if Sasuke had two Rinnegans then you know that'd be pretty powerful. But if he had two Rinnegans he wouldn't be able to use the... Uh, he wouldn't be able to use the Susanoo. So now if he has half Rinnegan, half uh, uh, Mangekyo Sharingan, he could probably use the Rinnegan at the same time as his Susanoo. So that is pretty OP. And uh, yeah, the final battle has begun. I can't wait to finish up this volume. In the end here, a lot of crazy things happen. So... Madara, who absorbed the tree, as you guys saw, the divine tree had that, like, the giant Sharingan on the top. He absorbed the tree, and what he did was he uh, then was able to activate that on his forehead, that giant Sharingan. He also, I don't know if I had talked about it before, but he had taken Kakashi's, uh, he had stole Kakashi's Sharingan, and he... Uh, used the Kamui to go into the Kamui dimension and steal Obito's Renegon, or steal his Renegon back from Obito. So now, Madara has both Renegons, and also, then, now that he also uh, absorbed the tree, he has that giant Sharingan thing on his forehead, which allowed him to cast the infinite Tsukiyomi onto the moon, and now everybody is in this dream world, except for Kakashi, Sasuke, Sakura, and Naruto, who are all hiding underneath the wings of uh, Sasuke's Susanoo. So, yeah, they're all hiding. Now, They're all, everybody else is in this dream world, though. And we also find out that one of the other white Zetsus that was fighting, um, what was it, fighting the Kage, uh, fighting the Rai Kage and the Tsunade and uh, the Suchikage, all of them was actually Yamato being, I guess, his body was being used by the White Zetsu, I think. So, he was there the whole time. I had kind of forgot about Yamato this whole time, ever since he went missing when Kabuto kidnapped him, I think. I think that was what it was. I had completely forgot about Yamato. And now, uh, Madara was about to fight Sasuke and Naruto, but then... He actually was betrayed by Black Zetsu, who just destroyed Madara by implanting him with so much uh, chakra, I think. That's what happened, and so he exploded, but then his pieces came back and they reformed or something like that. I don't really know exactly how it happened, but he turned into Kaguya Usutsuki, I guess. I'm not exactly sure how all that happened, to be quite honest with you, but it did happen. And uh, now, let me guys show you, or let me show you guys here. Kaguya has arrived, the final boss of Naruto. She is literally a god, and yeah, she has 
interestingly enough, she has the Byakugan, and uh, she also has the Rene Sharingan, so she essentially uh, has all three ocular powers. So in her forehead uh, is the Rinnegan combined with the Sharingan, the Rene Sharingan, and then she has the Byakugan. And so, yeah, it's just, I feel like the final act of Naruto has had three bosses. It's like when you're, when you're playing a video game and you're at the end and like the boss has like, like a uh, different stages, that's sort of what happened. First it was Obito, then now Madara, and then Kaguya is like the final stage. And I'd even go as far as to say that there was four stages, the giant ten tails, then Obito, Jinchuriki, then Madara. And then now we have uh, Kaguya. So, yeah, they're going to have to fight Kaguya on the back here, though. We get this here when it says in the next volume. Oh, hold on. Yeah. Just Kaguya there. So, yeah, man. In the next volume, they're literally going to have to be fighting a god. And, uh, yeah, this is just insane. The Obito stuff. Also, we did find out that Rin... So, she didn't just die, like, she didn't just sacrifice herself. What actually happened was, Madara had put a cursed tag inside of Obito to make it to where he can't betray Madara. But then when Madara, or when Obito uh, was struck by Kakashi, when Kakashi pierced right through him, that destroyed the tag. And so, it was actually part of Obito's plan to get hit by, um kakashi's lightning blade so he was purposely stepped in the way so that kakashi could destroy that tag and then so then without madara's knowing and then he can then he dipped out of there so that he could become the jinchuriki and then betray madara that's what, what his plan was so it was a really risky plan getting hit and fighting with kakashi like that but it was all like i said it was all part of his plan but what obito didn't know is that he had also put a uh, curse tag in somebody else also who was Rin, and she was cursed, I guess. She was being controlled to actually get herself killed. And what we didn't realize was, in the background, Madara actually manipulated the other enemy shinobi into capturing Rin and turning her into the Three Tails Jinchuriki. And then Kakashi would come after her, and then he also made it to where she pretty much killed herself. And he brought Obito out there to watch that happen so that he would unleash his rage and he would be able to manipulate Obito into then, you know, doing everything that he's done now. So Madara out here with the 200 IQ plays and it was actually Madara was the one who killed Rin, essentially. So we find that out. And uh, yeah, that it's just insane. Like the amount of setup, you know, Madara has been planning this and doing everything he even took obito betraying him into account and built everything around just, i don't know madara is a, a genius when it comes to planning that out because yeah that's just crazy so yeah in the next volume though we'll see them fight kaguya and then in volume 72 it's going to be the end so yeah guys thanks for watching in the next video we'll be ending this so Stay tuned, and uh, yeah, I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.